Welcome back to Star Ocean, the second story, Type R. So uh, we're back in the town of Salva, having completed the events in the Cross Cave. Uh, we're back here because we've got some private actions that we need to uh, finish up on, or rather the ones that have now become available to us, because we've got Selene in our party. Uh, so first of all, let's talk to this little girl. Hey mister, are you the Hero of Light? Huh? You are? You're the hero, aren't you? Uh, that's right. I'm the Hero of Light. I'm sorry, but I'm not the Hero of Light. I honestly don't know right now. Now, well, this is very important. Whatever you choose here, do not pick the middle one. So, uh, we're gonna say that we are. Yep, I'm the Hero of Light. I mean, come on, we, we basically are, right? Wow, I knew it! Um, listen, can I ask you a favor? What is it? My mom and dad. These monsters did him in. So, could you beat him for me? I mean... Damn. Sure, no problem. Leave it to me. Okay. Yeah, that, uh, that has a big impact on your friendship level. Uh, your, your friends will not like it if you answer no to the little girl. For that very reason. Okay, what have we got here? Rena, what's she looking at? What's up, Reina? Oh, Claude! I was just checking out some of the accessories they have here. Anything nice? Yeah, a few things. Like that emerald pendant. Don't you think it's pretty? Um, wow, it is pretty. I really don't know much about Julie, so we should probably buy that for her. And it's only 200 full. How about I buy it for you? You know, as a present. Huh? Excuse me, I'll take one of these. Thank you, sir. That will be 200 full. Claude? I hope you like it, Reyna. I... I wasn't trying to tell you to buy it for me. <laughs> It'll look great on you. Emerald's your birthstone, too, isn't it? Ah! Did I get it wrong? No, that's right. It's just that you remembered my birthday. Aw, oh, well done, Claude. Of course I did. We're friends, aren't we? Thank you, Claude. This means a lot to me. Mmm, and we get a leaf pendant for that. Well done. Well done, Claude. That is how it's done, son. That is how it's done. Just dropping G's. Just dropping notes like a G. Like a top G. Well done. All right. So these are the private actions in Salva. Looks like we've got some in Alia, so let's head back there. Uh, wait, what's going on? Why can't we... Out in the village, what? Oh, because we're in private action mode at the moment. Okay, so let's try that again. And there we go. Oh. All right, and... Where is this new private action. Is it, um... Oh, wait, we have to go into mode, don't we? And who do we... Oh, it's, a. Uh... Is this Celine? Yep, it's a Celine one. Oh, Claude. Are you done looking around the village? Yeah, more or less. I've been here before, so... A rather pleasant little place, isn't it? Perfect for getting away from the crowds of the city. Definitely, yeah. Oh, by the way, there's something I want you to have, Claude. Oh? What is it? Just a good luck charm. Something that you need far more than I do. Oh, are you sure I can have this? It looks pretty expensive. Please take it. I found it on a treasure hunting expedition a little while ago. I can sense that it holds some kind of symbological force. It was worn by someone who looked like a swordsman. I thought it would be more fitting for you to have it. Oh, why thank you, Selene. Um, what kind of person was this? The man who used to wear it? I couldn't tell you, really. He was already a skeleton when I discovered him. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, thanks, but I'll be fine. Uh, let's, let's be nice. Wow, that's really nice of you. Thanks, Selene. I'm glad you thought about me. 
You'll make me blush if you put it that way. Oh? I wonder if this is what having a kid brother is like. Oh. A kid brother? She sees us like a kid brother. Jewelry. Well, we tried, Claude. We tried. Just keep in there, man. Keep at it. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the map. Yeah, nothing else. Alright, well, I think now that that's done, we can uh, carry on with the main story. So let's head back to... what's going to be quicker? Cross Cave? Uh, yeah, Cross City? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We have to switch back to normal mode. Uh, yeah, and now, cross town, yeah, just outside. Let's go. So, uh, let's just quickly check. Okay, our guys are good. So, yeah, now, um, now that we've done everything here, we are heading up to the town of Click, or Kurik, rather. I believe we crossed the bridge. Uh, wait, is this right? Is this yeah? This is right, right? I think this is right. This feels right, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, no, it's not. And I think we need to be going up this way. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Follow the road. And, uh, yeah, just keep at it. I think this is right, isn't it? Let's let's see. Well, it's, uh, it's been a while. Okay, it looks like another dungeon over there. Which we will get to at some point, I'm sure. The, uh, the monsters are getting plentiful. They really, really want to fight. Oh, we've got a treasure over there. Let's get that. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, this just, guys, this is the world map. When was the last time you played a game that had a world eggs and dairy? This is the second lot of eggs and dairy that we've gotten. There must be some kind of significance to eggs and dairy, but I'm not sure what it is. I mean, aside from it being healthy for you. So yeah, I mean, when was the last time you played a game that had a world map like this? I mean, isn't this just something? Just... And you got enemies. I, I do say, regarding this game, I do like the uh, optional encounter uh, system that, that they've got, you know, having, making it so that you don't have to go into all of these battles if you don't want to. I think that is big. Wait, so how the hell? Yeah, this is the right way, isn't it? I mean, it must be, and then we go around here. Yeah, like all of these fights. I, it, I mean, in terms of experience, we are, I, I believe anyway, that we are high enough level, so those, so these enemies shouldn't be a problem for us. But then just the prospect of having to fight them, that would be a, a little bit annoying. I have to say, this is a bit odd. I feel like we should have come to the town by now. But, you know... Okay, we crossed a bridge. This seems familiar. So I think we're on the right track. Just keep your eyes out for a settlement. We have to be getting close. I mean, according to the map, we're getting close. What about... Up there? No, over there. I see something over that way. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, man, this is the furthest town. This is actually my first time being on a ship. I'm kind of excited. All right, Kurik. All right. PA mode straight away. And we have one straight away. Now, I believe there's uh, some significance with this private action. And that if we don't do it now, we miss it forever. Residents of Kurik, you must leave this town at once. A great storm of destruction is on its way towards Kurik at this very moment. What's going on here? This woman was just shouting some nonsense. She is claiming that Kurik is about to be completely destroyed and that the only way to survive is to get away from the town right now. Well, that's silly. How could that possibly happen? There is still time to act. Please, you must begin evacuating at once. There is not much time left. I beg you. Please, you must believe me. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Poor girl. Something must have gone loose in her head. Oh dear. So it doesn't look like anyone's going to believe this, Cassandra. Let's talk to her. Please, you must believe me. Do you think that's true? If it is, the town's residents could be in serious danger. I'm sure she's just spent a little too much time in, at the bottle. The idea that the entire town could be destroyed is just far-fetched to take seriously. Well... You know. You know. Anyhow, that seems to be it in terms of uh, private actions. Okay. Apologies for keeping you all waiting. Let's depart, shall we? Uh, let's, let's look around town first. Now, I'm not gonna... I'm trying to remember. I don't believe it's here that we want to upgrade. We'll just see. See what they've got. We've got a Sinclair. That is nice. Hard Knuckles for Rena. It, it might be nice to upgrade her stuff, actually, because uh, we haven't actually upgraded her weapons. Iron Greaves. No. No, we're good. Next time. Uh, let's check out the... Skills shop. The guild. Uh, I would like to listen to advice on skill. Oh, no, I didn't want to. Learning combat skills can help improve your chances of success on the battlefield. However, these skills do not necessarily come into play in every battle. Uh, many combat skills are randomly triggered during any given battle. By improving your skill level, you can increase the odds of them being triggered. However, uh, in the end, you cannot win by depending too much on these skills. Yes, I, I know that there. We, we don't need to know that. What business do we have with the guild? Okay, so... These are guild things. Learn the item creation skill customization. So these are kind of useful skills to uh, for us to be learning. And the rewards are de pretty decent as well, as you guys can see. Though I am holding off on this here for the time being. Let's come again. I'm holding off because I don't really want to be assigning any skill points to anything just yet. Because I'm waiting for for us to get to uh, a, a particular town, shall we say. Takes me back to when I was a boy. What a beautiful view. What a romantic view. Oh wait, what's this? A unique spot, the old lighthouse. A lighthouse that overlooks Kurik. The view from the top is said to be superb, but with the interior currently off limits, no one can verify this is true. I believe it's true. We get a lunar talisman for that. That is nice. Yeah, so, um... The guild quests, unfortunately, are going to have to wait for a smidge. Let's check in the item shop. Oh, it's just a small... Millie's favorites. What does Millie have? Aquaberries. Blackberries. Blueberries. These are pretty good. Resurrection Elixir. Mm. No, I won't get anything here. Please come again. 
yeah, I won't get anything there just yet. Instead, let's uh, look around. Uh, anything in this fancy pants house? No. Got a liar. I'll take it. And we can't go upstairs. Okay. Well, a liar is not a bad thing to loot from a house. Uh, we've been in the weapon shop. Can we check what's in the pub? Uh, in the pub, it's just people drinking. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, well, I don't think there's too much else for it. Uh, how about some crepes? Banana crepes? Or chocolate crepe? We'll cover 22 H.1 ally. Oh, this is pretty good. We'll cover 5% HP all allies. Stim battle only. Effect carries over two times. You know what? I'm gonna get one. I'm getting a banana crepe. Thanks, come back soon. Yeah, it could be good. Clothes store. Okay. High fashions. Yeah, we're not we're not in the market for fashion. Uh, let's check out this shop. Hello, Captain's Cabin. Seafood. And grains. Uh, oh, hang on, something back there. Vegetables. Yeah, I'm sure the proprietors of the Captain's Cabin, the Wanderer's Way, wouldn't mind us taking this stuff. Uh, let's check in here. Coric Pastries. Yeah, they, they do love their food in the Star Ocean games. They do love their food. Okay, let's talk about the captain. I'm a bit worried about sailing on the ship. You getting on? I'll need to see a permit, please. You mean this? Well, I'll be damned. You actually got a real travel permit. Yep. Well, yeah. We got it from the king. Wow, I would have never guessed from the way you look. So when is this ship departing? We'll be shoving off whenever they finish loading the cargo. Oh, not too long then. I can't be too sure of that. Tell you what, we'll wait up for you. So why don't you come back later? You know, poke around town a bit. Uh, okay. Um, okay, let's carry on. Well, we've got some time. How about we have a seat on that bench? He just came out of nowhere. Are you all right, Claude? Yeah, I'm fine. He just came out of nowhere! Yeah. That was really rude of him. He could have at least apologized. Yeah. Huh? Uh-oh. What's wrong, Claude? Hey! My wallet's missing! What? Are you serious? That kid must have stolen it. Oh yeah, we got a thief on our hands. I might have dropped it somewhere. If that kid was behind it, we will definitely need to teach him a lesson. We need to find that kid first. What did he look like again? He was pretty small, and I think he had blue hair. That sounds about right to me. All right, let's have a look around town. Yeah, we're, we're not having that, are we? Uh, okay, so it's telling us to go this way. Wait, oh yeah, let's talk to the other kids. I mean, that's a smart idea, right? They'll tattletale on their friends. Uh, isn't that Kettle? He's the one who's always playing by himself. 
Kettle is usually playing by himself near the bar. I mean, of course. Look at that. They, they start out so young in some places. And here, he's playing out by himself by the bar. Alright, you little street urchin. Ha! Finally got you! Yeah. What are you doing? Let me go! How about you giving us back the wallet you stole first? What? What are you talking about? I didn't steal no wallet. Really now? You better not be lying. Yeah, you little artful dodger. God. It's okay if you don't know what we're talking about, but if you do know something about it, it would be really nice of you if you can tell us, okay? You know, if we don't have any money, then we'll be stuck here and we won't be able to continue our journey. You haven't seen any wallets lying around on the ground or anything, have you? Whoa, you're traveling? But you didn't have enough money in your... Yeah. So it was you! <laughs> Uh, uh. Don't scare him like that, Claude. Listen, we aren't angry at you, okay? Just tell us what you were going to do with the money. Was there something you wanted to buy? If he's already I gotten booze with it. Anything I want already. So why then? I just wanted to play a trick on you. Oh, you little... Huh? Some sheltered rich kid, okay? I'm a big macho sailor and I can do anything I want. Guess I showed you, didn't I? So that's why you stole the wallet? Nobody ever wants to play with me. They think I'm too rich and stuck up to be with them. Oh, brother. <laughs> well, now I understand. So, what are we going to do with this boy? How about we get our wallet back for starters? Here. I'm sorry. Now, what next? I know. Why don't you guide us around Kurok until our ship departs? I promise we won't tell on you. Oh, that's, that's huh? nice. We're new in town, so we'd like someone who knows this place well to show us around. You know what I mean? Good idea, Claude. Need I remind you about sparing the rod? Yeah. So you want me to be your tour guide? Could you? Sure, I'll do it. It sounds like fun. My name's Reyna. What's yours? Kettle. And my name is Celine. And I'm Claude. Good to meet you. All right, off we go then. You got it. Leave it to me. Yeah, we know how um, Celine feels, huh? Spare the rod, spoil the child. Did you feel that? Whoa. Me? Not really. Oh, right. Hey, mister. What is it, Kettle? They call this place Fountain Square. Bet you didn't know that. We did not know that. Uh, I knew that. Pretend I didn't know that. Well, where will you hear this? Fountain Square is the busiest part of town. They've got a restaurant, a clothing store, and all kinds of other shops, too. Oh, wow, really? Huh, neat. Do you play here with your friends, Kettle? Uh... Well, anyway, that's Fountain Square. Let's go hit up some of those shops. Yeah. <laughs> well, he, he did say that... The friends don't play with him, do they? How about some crips? Hey, Claude, let's have some crips. Yeah, go and buy him one. Thanks, guys. But, but I was gonna pay for them. Don't worry about it. Besides, you shouldn't need to worry about money when you're a kid. Thanks, Claude. Hmm, it's delicious. Oh, I bet he appreciates that. Uh, okay, let's look at this one. Would you like some delicious ice cream? Hey, Claude, let's have some ice cream. 
Uh, yeah, buy him an ice cream. I'll have a vanilla one, please. But, but I was gonna pay for them. Don't worry about it. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks. It's cold and delicious. Aw, oh, well done. Claude would make an excellent bigger brother. Kettle! Okay. Hey kids, would you mind playing with Kettle for a while? Kettle? Aw, oh, man. I don't want to play with some rich kid. Aww. Oh, come on. That's no reason to say no. But that's what my mom told me. She said, don't play with that rich kid. My mommy said the same thing, too. But what does being rich have to do with who you play with? Kettle's been wanting to play with all of you for a long time. Don't you think that's what's important? Kettle? You really want to play with us? Go on, guys. Yeah, play with him. I do. Then let's be friends. I always wanted to play with you, too. Aw, well done. I was kind of wondering what you were like, too, Kettle. Well, great. Come on, Kettle. Go have some fun with them. But what about you guys? Don't worry about us. We've got to catch a ship to get on with our journey. Thanks. Kettle, over here! Aw, oh, well <laughs> yeah. done. They're all playing together. It's nice seeing children play together, isn't it? I didn't realize you had a gentle side to you, Claude. Actually, I'm more than a little surprised myself. Anyway, we'd better get back to the business at hand. Shall we get going? We shall. I mean, that was a nice little sojourn. But, um, yeah, it's time to, time to go. Right now, point of no return. I believe we've done everything we want to here. Hey, you but again. we won't get a chance to come back. I think we're about back. to shove off. Really? So. Yep. Sorry to keep you waiting. I got one more piece of cargo to load up. So if you got anything to buy or check up on one last time, go do it now. Got it. Uh, no, I believe we are quite good. So uh, yeah, we've done everything else in terms of private actions that we want to be doing for the time being. So uh, yeah, let's um head on up. But for some reason, they're taking us over here. You feel that? Another quake? Whoa, again? Ah! Whoa! Indeed, yeah. Okay, guys, come on. Time to get out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, how do we get out? How do we get out? Lighthouse? Oh, my days. Come on. Jeez. Wow. All right. Things aren't um aren't too good. Seems Kettle made it out, okay? Kettle. There you are. Hey, mister. Where are your friends? I could only find one of them. Oh. What about your mother? How's she doing? The lady of the house was out of town when the earthquake struck. She should be fine. Well, I hope so. Mister? Hmm? I'm glad you're okay, too. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Kettle. Okay, let's, um... 
Oh dear, has anyone seen my husband? Yeah, these are the poor people of Kurik. That earthquake killed my entire crew. It's a miracle I managed to survive. Uh, let's talk to this guy first, the chef. My crab shop, gone forever! We bought his last crepes, guys. That Cassandra okay, girl was Captain? right. You okay, Captain? Yeah, nothing short of a miracle, actually. But my crew's gone, uh, save for that guy over there. That was quite a shock, I have to say. That bizarre wind, and then that horrible rumbling. So what are you going to do now? A whole lot of nothing is what I'm gonna do. Can't do much without a ship. Let me give you a word of advice, though. You know I'm not the only way to get to L, right? Oh, you're not? Oh? Nope. First off, let me give you your royal travel permit back. Passport. It's a convoluted way of saying a passport. Now take that permit with you to the Lacour continent. If you ask the king over there nicely, I bet he can arrange for a ship to take you to L. Lacour? Kind of out of your way, I know. But if you ask me, that's your best bet. You'll need to go through Harley first, though. That's a port city on the eastern edge of Cross. So first to Harley. You'll know you're going the right way if you see a village called Mars. Korok's kind of out of the picture right now, so Mars is going to be the best place to stock up and get a good night's sleep before the voyage. Mars. Got it. You still seriously want to go to L after all this? You guys must be crazy. We've got to do it, Captain. We've got to do it. All right. Well, that's uh, about all we can do in Kurik. As you guys can see, there's um, not much left to it. Does the sorcery rope control nature too, or is something else? I wonder if kettle is okay. Kettle's fine. Uh, taking the detour. All right. So. How are we going to do this? Uh, would it be quicker to go from here? It might be. So, uh, yeah, let's just double back. Right, so this is... This looks like we're on the right track now. I believe we could have come here earlier. But for story purposes, it just... its uh, I feel it makes more sense to come here now. Town of Symbologist. Maybe someone can teach me, help teach me healing symbols. Let's go see Mars. Um, do we have some private actions? We might have some private actions. Uh, actually, let's just see this quickly. Monument of Truth. A stone tablet that has been in Mars since ancient times. The glyphs upon it are said to reveal the underlying principles of symbology when deciphered. Interesting. Oh, sweet. Got some XP for that. Uh, and is it this guy we talked to? A group of bandits have taken our children hostage in the Forest of Symbols. Oh, we can't have that. Celine! Mother, what is going on here? This is your mom? Yes, I grew up in this village. Oh, I didn't know you were born in Mars. Have a seat, though, as we were just about to begin. We are facing the greatest crisis in the history of Mars. Elder, we are still unaware of the events that led up to this situation. Could you kindly fill us in? Please, allow me to explain. Yes, Father. Sometime last evening, every child in the village simply vanished, as if they were rubbed out of existence. As we scrambled to form a search party, this man here came back from the Forest of Symbols with a disturbing message. Oh? I was by myself in the forest at the time, uh, practicing my symbology. Then all of a sudden, a bandit appeared before me. I steeled myself for battle, but he simply stood there and told me this before he disappeared into the woods. Our boss has your children. If you want them back, 
bring us 500,000 foal and the secret book. What's this secret book he's talking about? We cannot reveal specifics, but it is a book that describes the unique form of symbology passed down through the generations in this village. When we heard the story, we were all at a loss as to what to do. Not only did we learn that our children were kidnapped, but that bandits were encroaching on the forest of symbols. The forest has been protected for ages by holy symbols etched into the land itself, repulsing the wicked and evil-hearted. If they have broken through that barrier, then we must face a dire reality. Our enemy is more powerful than any that has come before. But the children, are they safe? According to a second messenger, the children are being held by the bandits deep inside the forest. He said that until we fulfill their demands, they'll stay exactly where they are. We don't know anything else about the children. Mm, not the good. Forest of Symbols is a special training ground for us symbologists. Furthermore, its landscape and terrain make it a natural fortress difficult to penetrate. If it were simply a pack of bandits we were dealing with, it would take no more than a small team to dispatch them. But the lives of our children are at stake. We can ill afford to make any rash moves. They may be simple bandits, but they have proven at least strong enough to break the barrier protecting the Forest of Symbols. Their defeat would mean nothing if the children were to be caught in the carnage. It seems like there's nothing much we can do. We haven't been sitting here simply twiddling our thumbs. One of our search team has already discovered the location of the bandit hideout. With that information in hand, all we need now is a way to rescue the children. I mean, that's encouraging, right? Oh, so you're set then? We are. But as I mentioned earlier, we fear that to act by ourselves would prove to be insufficient. Fate has brought us a master swordsman. We thought we could ask him to join us in our rescue effort. Okay. Diaz? Reyna? You know this man, Reyna? Yes. We come from the same village. Is this the swordsman you're talking about? That he is. There are few fighting men in this world who haven't heard the name Diaz Flack. Okay, so we've definitely heard of Diaz before, haven't we? You have nothing to worry about then. Diaz is the strongest swordsman in the world. He could kill the whole group by himself. So has Diaz agreed to your request, Father? He accepted the job. Said it would be a good warm-up for the liqueur armory contest. But there is one snag. I'm firmly against it. We know nothing of this stranger. I would rather we storm the forest ourselves than rely on the whims of outsiders. Oh no, you can totally trust Diaz. I know him really well. He's an honest man, and as a fighter, no one can even come close. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced than you to speak on his behalf, young lady. Ooh. This is our village's problem, it's true. Perhaps it is irresponsible of us to throw it on the shoulders of a passing swordsman. In that case, Father, I have the perfect solution to our problem. Would it be all right if we defeated the bandits for you? Celine, are you sure? Of course. It would be the perfect opportunity to display the fruits of my training. I don't care either way, but if you're kicking me off the team, I'm out of here. Don't come whining to me if that loudmouth girl screws everything up, got it? Ooh. Of all the rude things to say. Don't you think you're being the rude one here? Barging into the middle of things and disrupting all of our plans? Oh, so that's Diaz. Silver-haired swordsman. Father, are you Badass seriously going to leave everything to that rogue? We could rend that pathetic rabble of bandits to shreds by ourselves, and you know it. I know how you feel, Celine, but... Reyna... Ooh. I have yet to see hide nor hair of Reyna. I guess she's still visiting with Diaz. 
Do you really think he wants to take all of them on by himself? Sure looks that way to me. He's certainly confident enough of his chances anyway. Ugh. What could the Elder be thinking? I cannot believe he still wants that person to do this. Yeah. Come on, Claude. Let's give him a piece of our mind. Uh, okay. Okay. What? Aren't you interested? I've already convinced my father. You're late. Did that man do something to you? Listen, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but I want to have Diaz join our group. What are you talking about? I asked Diaz, and he promised me that he would fight alongside us. Well, it only makes sense that he'd listen to the cute girl next door instead of everyone else. Yeah. That wasn't the issue here. I'm telling you, he's a first-class swordsman. He'd be a huge asset to us out there. What do you think, Claude? He said he could do it all by himself. What's the point of having him along, then? How could you say something like that? Well, it's true, isn't it? Besides, do we really even need him? Oh, we, we really need him, Claude. Huh. Well, I guess I'm going with Diaz, then. Oh. Reyna. And, uh... Maybe you don't need him, Claude, but I do. Oh, dear. Oh, well. Let her do what she wants. Pride and prejudice, basically. The plan is set to go underway tomorrow. We should make any preparations we need and return to the Elder's house. So what? You don't need me? Is what he was thinking. Oh dear. Well. This is a lot for us to think about. Rena has left the party, so it's just Celine and I. Which uh, ain't great. But um, yeah, we're gonna have to think about this here. Yeah? We will have to think about this. Anyhow. Uh, and I suppose this is the, uh, if we were playing as Arena, then we would uh, see this next section from her perspective. And this is why this game, to, to really get a full experience of it, you have to play it from both. But um, anyhow, guys, we are going to take a quick break here. When we get back, we will be heading back into the Elder's house and seeing if we can rescue these kids. So uh, yeah, that is all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.